my wife loves her long hair. We're just gonna get some of it kind of out of the way. That's just the beginning. And I have been doing hair for almost 30 years, so I decided, hey, I got an idea. Let's do a challenge. Three different shapes. I'll let you pick it out of a hat. You won't know what we're gonna do. We just end up with what we end up with. I'm sweating. Really? <laughs> this'll, be, this'll be fun. Because I'm stupid. This'll be fun. Yeah. How could this possibly go wrong? I mean, here's what happened. Hey, honey. What's up? I think I'm finally ready to cut my hair. Really? Guess who is not happy if Dion is not happy? Why do you think you're ready to cut it now? Well, I haven't had a touch up in six months. The color? Hint. <laughs> so my natural hair versus the blonde hair, it's like kind of a different texture where like I think some of the blonde kind of the damage gave me more movement, movement texture, and this just volume. makes it feel so flat. <laughs> it gives her more body because that's what color damage does. How, how short do you think you want to go? Because I know you like your long hair. Yeah, I feel pretty with long hair, but lately I haven't been feeling pretty. Really? Why not? I don't know. I think just the changes that, you know, perimenopause and like my skin changes and my body changes and then just kind of my hair I feel is just kind of like flat. Look, at the end of the day, I think she's beautiful no matter what she does with her hair or anything else. But I really need her to understand that as well. How short are you thinking you want to take it up? Probably about here. You're okay it's gonna with cutting that much like that? As long as I can put it in ponytail. And you know it's gonna look a lot darker when we do that. Deanna has been blonde for as long as I can remember. The minute we take her hair shorter, it's gonna start feeling quite a bit darker and I'm just not entirely sure that she'll like that. So what are your concerns about cutting it short? Well, you know me and you know I tend I know you. <laughs> this is exactly why I'm concerned. Okay. I, I can be picky. No. Sometimes. And you know, I will do the whole like this and that and this and that. And so I think my concern is I wanna be able to put it in a ponytail and long hair, like I, I would never define myself as like Sexy. What? I would. I, I oh, thanks, honey. Look, she could shave her damn head, and I still think she's sexy, but we really need to make her believe that too. No, but with long hair, I feel more, I guess, beautiful and like, mm, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> do it again. Do it again. What was it? Mm. La, 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 la. A little bit of Lexus. When I've had short hair, I've still liked shorter hair, but I feel more cute. Do you feel like you're okay with feeling cute? You know, hair grows. It's not the end of the world. I still like those cuts and those styles. It's just different. I just want to look cute in a beanie still. Okay. That's that's my what big What makes thing. you look cute in a beanie? Just having hair down here. What's the shortest you'll feel good in? As long as I can get some sort of wave pattern, I think it'll be good. I've got two shapes in mind that are in the length range that, you, that you're that you talking about. I've got one shape in mind that is shorter than that, but I think you would actually like it. What if I take those three lengths, those different styles, <laughs> I feel like I'm setting myself up, dude. Why would I even think to do this? And put them in a hat and you pick, and that's what we do. If you don't like what we end up with, honestly, truthfully don't like it, I'll shave my beard. And you know- But that's only if you don't like it. You can't say that you don't like it if you like it. Shave your beard lately. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know that you have to live with me. 100%. I wouldn't do it if I didn't think you would like it. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. We just end up with what we end up with. I'm sweating. Really? <laughs> <laughs> okay, close your eyes. You can't watch what I'm about to write down. And I've got three ideas. It's the first one. It's gonna be the second one. This one. <laughs> it's gonna be the curveball. Close your eyes, reach in, and pick I like, one. I feel like it's a magic trick. <laughs> I might need magic to, to, to live out of it after this one. This is the one that we got. Everybody but you knows what you're doing. You can open your eyes now. Are you ready? You sure you want to do it? Yeah. Okay. Let's get to cutting. Now, I know that this is a length range that Deanna's going to be comfortable with, but I can't not mess with her a little bit. We're just going to get some of it kind of out of the way. That's just the beginning. Now, one of the most important things that I do as a stylist is go through consultations. I need to ask a lot of questions because I need to understand not just what a client wants, but why they want it. Now you just saw me go through a consultation with Deanna and I have a good idea because I've known her for so long, kind of why she wants to move into a shorter shape. But there's still a couple of things that you as a client need to be aware of before you decide to make a big change. Do you think you're gonna do your hair more often now that if, it, if it's a little bit shorter? What I'm hoping for is there won't be as much time to curl it. Just because you're taking your hair shorter doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be faster at the first because you have to learn a whole new process of styling it, right? Yeah. And sometimes even though it takes less time to blow dry, even after you get that process down, it's you might find that you know when your hair is long, you just throw it back. 
It sets very fast. You dry it, pull it back, you're done. Whereas when you style it, when it's shorter, you're like, well, I don't really want to pull it back. I actually like it. So you end up spending that extra time and it ends up taking you more time. And that's why I would tell somebody never cut your hair shorter simply because you want to think you're going to spend less time on it. And there's one other extremely important thing that you need to be aware of before you decide to make a big change. Now, this has to do with going a lot shorter with your hair or going a lot longer with your hair. Now, Deanna mentioned it during our consultation, but it's very important that you recognize this. So why do you feel like you're cuter with short hair, but more sexy with long hair? I, I guess maybe how I style it. Typically when I see pictures of myself with my hair shorter, I just, I think I look a lot younger. I don't wanna make cute a bad thing because I, I wouldn't ever describe myself as sexy. We've got this one photo right here. Look at this photo. Let's be honest, that's sexy. Me, I was talking about me. I look sexy as well. <laughs> I think you're onto something there because like I said, I have heard that before, which is probably why a lot of people get very frustrated when they see a video of mine that they think is telling them that they need to cut it short at a certain age when that wasn't the video at all, but people have a very, very strong opinion about that. You would never tell me ever to cut my hair off. No. Like you've That's never even insanity. said your hair looks like a straight up mess until I brought it up and said, I want to cut it because I think it's looking like a straight up mess. And you're like, yeah, it is. <laughs> But you would never once say, hey, do you want to cut your hair? It's looking like a straight up mess. Anytime you're making a change with your hair, you need to be positive that you are comfortable with it. It doesn't matter if I tell you to do something or if somebody else tells you to do something or if your best friend or your husband or wife or family member says that you should do your hair a certain way. If you don't feel good in it, you should ignore them, me and everybody else. Do what makes you feel comfortable. There's a thousand different things that are that could work on your hair and your hair texture. It depends on your lifestyle. It depends on what you feel comfortable in. It depends on what length is going to be best for you, depending on how you're styling your hair right now. How much time do you want to spend on it? Yeah. Like, like I know I know that you have a lot of clients that they talk about wanting the wash and go style. So certain styles will definitely not be a good fit for them because it just won't look right. And also to tell somebody that this is, I think what you need to do based on no information and you know, no consultation or no understanding of the person, that's to tell somebody that this is exactly the thing that would look best on you. And that's a falsity. Like that's not fair to the client either because you that would tell you that anything else is not gonna be, that's gonna be subpar. That's a straight lie. <laughs> now I know that this is a length that Deanna is gonna feel comfortable in, but that's kind of just part of the game. I don't know if this is a style within the length that she'll be comfortable in. And I am just praying that she likes it as much as I'm hoping she will. Okay, the moment of truth. Okay, now wait for a second. You ready? <laughs> Turn around. And open your eyes. <laughs> do you like it? Do you like it? I do. I actually do. Oh, honey. There you go. See, my 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 beard is safe. I like it. It looks cute, huh? Yeah. I am cute. You are cute. a little sexy. You're very sexy. Yeah. And I actually like the color. I thought that it was going to chop off all the blonde, but I actually like how, like, natural it looks. So if you look at the side, see this angle right here? Uh -huh. So that angle is following your jawline, right? I could have pulled this back and got it in a ponytail, yeah. right? But this still allows this eye to be lifted up this way. And then I also layered this up a bit back here so that you can see, even when you have a lot of volume, right? I know you like it very textury and kind of messy, mm -hmm. right? This still lays in a little bit. So this laying in a little bit means that the eye is still being drawn up here because it creates the illusion of more volume up here regardless. Mm -hmm. And you can still do all the things that you wanted to do. No, I really like this a lot. So I love the volume, I mean, because it makes me look like I've got a ton more hair because my hair is really fine. Now, if you want to learn more about how we actually styled this, I'm going to go ahead and link a video right here where you can watch that. Uh, keep in mind, that'll be next week. So if you watch this the first week that it gets uploaded, uh, then you're going to have to wait. Oh, and babe, uh, anything, anything you want to say? I got to say, that view does not suck. That view <laughs> does not suck. Uh, more about that to come, but that view does not suck. Does not suck. Does not suck. This view, my beard, does not suck. <laughs> that view does not suck. <laughs> Bye.